It's a hundred percent fable. Okay. And that's what they are. Wafters. Yeah, well done. You see, I'm not here to slay legendary beasts. I'm here to conquer the vegetable. Not a euphemism. <laughs> Let's face it. The age of heroes is over. This is the age of innovation. And pumpkins. This, if you will, is the age of death. What happened? One moment. Ten day vacation? What? Oh. This is awkward. Oh, this is nothing? Yeah. What is this game? She's getting bullied. Kisses? Oh, hey, it's Fable! <laughs> okay. Are we friends with a giant? Did you kill the man? He was so cool! <laughs> That was fun. Yeah, it was Fable. All right, cool call. Uh, do we have world premiere game? Oh yeah, everything's a world premiere, probably mostly on here. I think it could be Jack and uh, being stuck. I mean, that's only it's based off of Fables, right? Second, I thought it was Voodoo Vince, but I was like, no, that's not right. You know what this is, Spud? You heard your name. I don't know why you heard your name. I don't think I said. Maybe I said Carolyn is right. Voodoo Vince is so good, right, Logan? I wonder what this is. I like the art style. Oh, it's the We Happy Few. That's compulsion. Oh! I know, We Happy Few. Okay, I just got, still got a fish in it. So I really liked your mask that you have. Shaking bones. Been a while. Guessing it's a reference so, to something that I'm not aware of a video game. that favor you owe me? I'm looking for a creature. Huge, sneaky. <laughs> Teeth like knives. That really helps the description, I guess. Ooh, that is quite the zombie right there. Oh. It was his time for beautiful no. music and now it's over. Well, hey, how about you guys? No? You not hear the quisp creepy Nobody? whispers in the background? <sighs> not helpful. I think you're gonna have a compulsion to buy this game, Spud. Sneaky. Oh. South of Midnight, okay. I don't think that's a series, so I've got to guess it's all completely new, and I'm very interested. I like the art style a lot on it. And the music, very cool. What we get for the next one? Oh no, that was just the play with Game Pass. Yeah, that makes sense. Another world premiere. World premiere. <laughs> Everything is world premiere. Poke catch electrode. These are dangerous times. Massive. Oh, what does massive? At least that's what I, I hear. Massive. Wait, we got a Star Wars game? They're everywhere. Oh, goodbye. But the world here belongs to the syndicates. The oh, the open world? Is this the open world one? If I want to survive, I have to play their game. I think this is the open world one. Looks like I'm all in. She's in here somewhere. On second thought, I'm I would also get out of here. You like that? Thing? It's like an axolotl a little bit. Oh. <laughs> Everyone's just getting a little upsetty. 
At least we're seeing something from it. I wonder when we're gonna see a gameplay of something now. I think this is the open world though. I love that axolotl thing. I've been held back my whole life. And now, I just need a chance to finally be free. Well, that's pretty. Wherever nice, Lace. I'm here to offer you a way out, okay? Get off my ship, Jalen. Give me a chance. <gasps> cool, you have like a commando you droid. You'll be dangerous, risky. But if you pull this off, you'll never look over your shoulder. They're using the cuteness again. factor of that creature real hard. Hey, God! Yeah, kind of, Logan. No mercy. But it's a big galaxy out there, and I'm gonna risk it all. Cool. Star Wars Outlaws. Cool. Coming 2024. Wow. Wanted to see if I could do something. Oh, stop it. Okay. Well, I can't do anything right now. Ignore it, then. Let's see if I could uh, increase the quality. Let me go over here. Wow. Oh, there is going to be gameplay. South okay. of Midnight, Star Wars Outlaws. Welcome to our first ever double feature the Xbox Game Showcase. Followed by a deep dive into one of the most important All right, RPGs we're gonna do a tactical ever switch. made, Starfield. Gaming is the most powerful. Because I want it to look crisp. It transports. It's gonna double. I'm sorry. It Ignore. It transports. It there you go. It connects us. I'm doing a tactical switch just to make it look crispy. That is why Team Xbox is committed to building the greatest place to play. By partnering with the most ambitious of game creators and by unleashing the power of the gaming community, enabling all of us. It looks a lot better on here. We want with our friends anywhere, from mobile devices to PCs to consoles. The lineup we have for you today is just incredible. These are the. Kill the volume on you. Do you not have the volume? The okay, my apologies. We made this show for you. Uh. Pff. Why? You guys should be able to hear. Can you hear it if I increased it? You that? are the heart and soul of Xbox. It's a whisper. Okay, that Your should help. Your passion drives us, and you are the inspiration for the visionaries whose games we showcase today. From me Better. and all of the team at Xbox, thank you. Okay, let me know if you guys want more this of an adjustment. This game is from Thunder Lotus, the award-winning studio behind Spirit Fair. Who've gone back to their and see what I can do with an amazing co-op raid focused action game that is uniquely theirs. All right, everybody, it's time. It's time. <laughs> it's the <laughs> those hand gestures. What do we got here? This is like a big multiplayer game. That's kind of interesting, Lice. Feels like that would be pretty hard to do. It was a co-op raid game, thank you. I did miss that. In theory, it could be really fun as long as you... 33 player co-op. Huh. I mean, as long as you don't have incompetent teammates, right? Guys, you and my 33 best friends, let's play a game. I do assume it's will be on Game Pass, so. OK. 
Okay. In and out. Nothing to payday. We have payday. Cool. Okay. Okay. Everybody hit the floor. We haven't seen payday three. I think this is payday three. I don't. I haven't heard anything with payday three yet. Oh, <laughs> poor oddly. Partying too hard for a birthday. It's been so long since I've played Payday. I would be actually really down to play. So far, I really like what Xbox is showing. Some of these have been like classic games that I used to play a lot, and I'm glad. No, I think you haven't ever played Payday. I think you should. They don't only just rob banks, by the way. Then you can criticize it for all those things. I agree, Spud. I agree. Although your your level went from I saw a, a compulsion games. Oh, that's fair, Lace. That's super fair. Okay, we're gonna do another tactical switch. Uh, don't World worry about it. Premiere. Okay. World premiere. Slightly behind, but I ended up fixing the Xbox One, which is what I prefer. Okay. Thank you, team. I also will drink some water. That's right, Killy, I needed to redeem that. What is this? Some Ghibli beautiful games. Anime? Yo, Persona game? Right? That's like the Persona-ish art style. It looks Persona-y. It's Persona 3 Reloaded. This is what le Okay, this is a leaked thing. Okay. Why is Persona music just absolute bobs? Early 2024. Okay. So that was leaked. The intern at Atlas showed it off early. Oh, rip. Is that what ended up happening? <laughs> That's so sad, but I mean, like, yay. Uh, Assassin's Creed? Did, is Ubisoft? No, Ubisoft is doing it. They said they had a forward coming out. Looks Assassin's Creed. No, Obsidian is different. People don't like you very much. Wait, they? Skyrim ish? Thing? Uh, no, uh, uh, here to the Elder Scrolls? Lands. By an emperor who couldn't bother to come himself. Is it, no, very not. Okay. City is just doing something bonkers. Okay, understandable. To investigate some play. Ugh. It seems to be corrupting a very soul. Suddenly playing Last of Us. Avowed. That's right. You want us to trust you. But the truth is. You Because we only us. ever saw like a little bit of Avowed ever, so this makes a lot of sense, yeah. Neat. The way you fight. The power you wield. The secrets you keep. I need more limb decapitation, please. Save us. Or destroy us. Cool. Obsidian does a lot of cool things, though, so. 
and Game Pass basically is like, wow, may as well. No like of those spiders either. I also am not a fan of Infected Bear. What are you gonna do with it? Cool super magic. Okay, so it's, yep, Vowed was right. And then I wonder if there would be some co-op. Just saying. You down for Payday 3, Fable, and Star Wars Outlaws so far? No, it's totally fine. Honestly, all, everything so far has been mostly a hit. I think this presentation is a uh, bop so far. Rare? Luke, wait. Star Wars and Rare are doing something? Well, Lucas Arts or Lucas Films is a little different, but what is what is Lucas Films is different? And you're true. It's right. Monkey Island then and Sea of Thieves, right? That's probably what it is. Yeah. Okay. Woo! Got it before it told me. Welcome to the <laughs> Scum Bar, the most notorious tavern on Melee Island. Wall to wall rogues and scoundrels. <laughs> So tell me, which ship is right for you? A big ship? A this really hits real ship? good for them, uh, Monkey Island fans that I've never played. The legend of Monkey Island? You mean Governor Guybrush. But Freepwood's not set foot out of that mansion for almost a year. Hey, what do you think you're doing? I told you no autographs. Though I see you have a meet and greet ticket. And I guess it's not every day that you get to meet the mighty pirate Guybrush Threepwood. The legend of Monkey Island. And Monkey Island is used to uh, be. Oh, they did something recently with it, but it was a point and click game. True, well, Spud. True. Well, what do we have here? You need these. If it's funny, I mean, it might be worth playing. And it, I mean, it's gotten me a couple times. From the sea of thieves, you know. Hold on! There's like whole cutscenes for this. Be cool. Play a new original story for free, and if it keeps me instanced, I'm even more about it. July twentieth, not bad. World premiere. Why? I love Xbox Crow. Why would you be surprised that I'm on here? What we got? It's an Xbox game, everybody. It's crazy. Instance is equals playable. 100% killer. That's why I'm hoping. Flight Sim. We're just having a Flight Sim uh, edition. Oh. Oh, in, in Microsoft Flight Sim, you can also do rescuing? Or is this unrelated? I think this is not Microsoft Flight Sim. Unless it is. And this is just like a really cool search and rescue thing. No, I don't think we can vote. I think every, if, it's, if it's still Microsoft Flight Sim, yeah. Transport it to the boat, though. Oh, and then we, <laughs> you have a person's life on your hands. Don't crash into the ground. Oh, yeah, farming. Look at that. Pokey catch by a way, a guilvish. Skydive aviation. Is this like a really large update? For, is that a plane in a plane? Wait, excuse me? This is an update, huge update for Microsoft Flight Sim. Air racing, cool. Tornado! Scientific research, I'm gonna scientifically run into the tornado. <laughs> Hot air balloon trips, what? What is this game? It is, 
It's, it's the 2024 update. That's pretty cool, though. A10 Warthog. Did they show that or are you just saying that would be pretty cool? There's got to be jabs instead of just random little plane. Ant-Man? Nope. <laughs> I don't know what this is. Looks neat. Why does that remind me of something? That flying reminds me of 100% something. What have I seen? Is this Dune? Is this Dune? It's Dune. Carolyn said Dune. Okay. Yeah, it's true. I could fly a pelican for scientific research into a hurricane. <laughs> Okay. It wait and flight sim. <laughs> Dune and flight sim are a combination. Neat. I should just have Halo. I agree. Hi, Melina here. Oh, speaking I have to you from our performance capture stage at Ninja Theory, where we have Get your just poop hands our on, everybody. For Saga Hellblade Two. When we first showed gameplay for Hellblade Two, it was a look at some of the game's cinematic and immersive action. I feel like we haven't seen anything from Hellblade off in against forever. Against a gigantic troll on the Icelandic coastline. This was like a very long time ago trailer. I would say I'm like, what, 19? Did Today, we see this in 19? taking you deeper into Senua's story. Her personal quest, her unique perspective on the world, and the intimate journey that awaits you in Senua's saga. What you'll see today is all captured by the team on Xbox Series I'm X. I'm mystified by her teeth. <laughs> I don't know what, what just drew me to the teeth, but I just... That's all I could do. I don't know why. Not in a negative way, just somehow was all I could see. She can feel Oh god! If you have headsets on, that really came on this side of my ear. Following the threats of her mind. Oh, that's creepy. She's here to find them. The ones who hide. Oh yeah. It's definitely anxiety. She needs her help with a promise. A question. <laughs> She's whispering in my ears! Headset, definitely recommend for the rest of this trailer if you can get headset headphones on. Wisdom has a price. Hopefully it's coming not through mono, but it could be. There's always a part of you that changes. A part of you that darkens. Creepy. And a part of you that dies. Over there. It's ASMR poop hand. I can feel them. Can feel them everywhere. The lost ones. They are watching us. This game would be very creepy to play if they have just they're doing this good on like random whispers into my ears. Well. Oh. Man, here. it just makes you uncomfy. They can see us. What is going to happen? It's time to find out. How can we make it happen? It's time to find out. I should probably play this again. It's time to find out. In a long time. What are you waiting for? I'm here. I really don't remember much of it, to be honest. Grave mind? Sacredly a Halo game confirmed. Oh no. Where are you? What do they want? I don't like it. I'm scared. This is too bad. Feels grave minded. Their eyes everywhere can feel them boring into her. Witch. What is she supposed to do? Do something. Oh, Ask yeah. them. What do you want me to do? Could be also a Reaper. Mass Effect. Obviously, we know it's Hellblade, but. Our souls fought through hell to find us. You were lost. Not anymore. Probably the low amount of oxygen that's in this cave. Probably not helping her brain. What we will find. What if it's all for nothing? Touch the grave mind sphincter. What oh. is that? They are waiting. Ugh. They're different sphincter. What will they do to her? What will we do to us? Touch it. Don't tell me to touch it sensually. Your voice. 
voices. All the parts of you that are broken. You can be whole. All the grief. All the rage. All the fear. Everything I've seen. Everything I've done. Has led me to this place. We've come so far. Not far enough. Say it. You are ready. Tell them. I am here. Now. What if we get lost forever? What will happen to them? What will happen to you? Do you ever just get... I will not let them down. ...carried on a weird journey of a trailer? Go. Oh. Who are these around you, Sanoa? Those you have saved. Okay. Or those you... That's a lot of face touching. The hopefully consensual face touching. Oh, don't you love Eldritch Fink Sphincters? Always such a sphincter. Now do we have a little more understanding of a trailer? <gasps> <gasps> what? <laughs> Is this, uh, like a dragon too then? I still have to play one. This is the same character from that, uh, spin-off. Nike! Nike! Ah! Watch out! You're gonna flash that penis! Very conveniently placed objects. I love it. <laughs> this is it reminds, this is Austin Powers. So Austin Powers Powersy. Right, wait, he's in America? Oh, turns up, dude. Yeah, dude. Hey, loose, bro. I think he's in America. I don't know. Well, you're talking about a different thing, uh, Madru. You're talking about the remake of The Man With No Name. I'm so happy. <laughs> Infinite wealth is what the next game is going to be called. Okay. Early 2024. I need to play the other game really bad. I really do. That was funny. It's so awesome. Powers of you vibe. Bethesda. Oh. Uh, oh. <laughs> Final 76. Appalachia, what a sight. A verdant a wonderland song? of promise plucked from post-atomic blight. The fruit of years of prudent progress and determined reclamation and 15 million dwellers worth of keen imagination. From the heart of the <laughs> fun. to the depths of the pit. Well, we owe it all to Vault 76. No matter if you roam alone or spend your Why time do with we, friends, uh... you'll find a home in Appalachia where the good times never That is end. a really creepy uh, power armor. From a time before the war, along with loads of friendly folks to meet and enemies galore. Our world is always changing, greater forces overthrown as we embark on expeditions into thrilling new unknowns. Yes, I, I kind of want to give this a shot again. I know it probably will still make me sad, but... Think you've seen it all, eh? Should come well, back to it. Hello, this? waves Pack offline. Your bags for an escape of Epicurean bliss. Epicurean Put your bliss. On and fix your hair up pretty because we're headed for the boardwalk of Atlantic City. So there you have it. Now you know. There's I'm trying to decide what I think of this too. Land your way home. And when you hear adventure it calling, when you're looking for some kicks, answer the call of Vault. Answer the call. Answer the call of Paul 76. I don't know. It didn't hit the sound and play it now with Xbox Game Pass. Welcome to the community. Atlantic of City. Woo. Spartan. Thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate it, Waves. World premiere. So many issues agreed, Spud. Was there an upgrade to four?
tentacles? What am I about to see? Uh, something Japan themed? There's a Tori gate. Oh gosh, ghost uh, something? Is this a seek or DLC or sequel to ghost thing? Ghost Tokyo Tokyo? It originally wasn't, no, it's definitely something else. <laughs> no, 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 it wasn't the tentacles, there's a Tori gate. <laughs> Right? See? Tori Gate. Oh, I have no clue what this is now. I like the music, man. Right, right. It's not the hentai part, I promise. Gotcha, Carl. I haven't heard anything, unfortunately, either. Yeah. Ew. Ew. They really got weird ass creatures, that's for sure. What does, is the gameplay style like a hack and slash? Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of hack and slashy. Very artistic. I don't like it. I don't like all the art. Very confused by it though. Is it a turn base? I don't know, the positioning of people confused me. Warframe. Japanese Warframe. Oh, I say Path of the Goddess. Okay. It's on Game Pass. <laughs> maybe I'll try. It. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Kind of hard to watch. I get it. Very weirdly presented. An Xbox Game Studios. Start to finish. General Motors historic. Oh, we got some Forza and something like that. Yeah. Two of its iconic brands, Forza, Chevrolet, get your Cadillac. car game. Right. The V Series Dot R elevates Cadillac's competitive spirit to a whole new level with its thunderous V8 and hybrid power. Right. The legendary Corvette has been a celebrated champion for decades. The all-new Chevrolet Corvette E-Ray continues that tradition. There's General a lot Motors of vehicle names that I'm like to usher Whoa. in a new era of competition. So not experienced with, with the cars. Innovators behind the new Forza Motorsport. Forza Motorsport and General Motors Hi, are pairing their strengths and technical excellence and sophisticated modern design. I see on stage with the big old new car. To the future and bring that experience. That one has wheels. <laughs> I'm Same though. To welcome the Cadillac Emmy just grumbled. Emmy loves cars. And the apparently. Corvette E-Ray to the home of competition. I always thought it was funny back in the old E3 days where like they presented these games and like, let's bring the car on stage. <laughs> you're like, well, why? Well, why? I know you're ready. You've got this. Like, who is this for? <laughs> it's probably because the uh, show floor, they would put it out there somewhere then. Let's tweak the car's performance for the next one. Forza? Yeah, it does sound like a, with a secret T. How can catch a little P? I had some bacon today, so it's perfect. Catch your bacon bug. <gasps> Japan. This is my time life. It's perfect for showing off like the engine quality and everything. I just kind of wish I was more into racing. <laughs> I just, in a lot of these racing games, I'm just like, I will pick this car and I go vroom. Bethesda presents what? Wolfenstein? Nope. I have seen all that ever was. Definitely not that. And all that ever will be. I have seen betrayal. Do we have the uh, online? I'm guessing. 
all the scrolls online. And courage. I am the one who knows. Yeah, it's the online for sure. Is that like a dinosaur that you had a mount? Hmm, Eldritch Demons. I feel disconnected from fate's flow. Unseen forces move against me, hungry for forbidden knowledge. Forbidden a knowledge. Long kept yeah, I thought I heard about this expansion a while back. This is a more gameplay trailer version of it. Itself. It was, yeah, it's 100% ESM. Yes, I hate whatever that is. They do got that music, though. Dude, sweet barrel roll. Is this the Dark Souls of Elden Ring? I'm oh, sorry, Dark Souls of uh, uh, Elder Scrolls. Different E word. And S. Don't worry about it. Necrom. That's when it was supposed to come out. Okay, the 20th. Which is why we got reminded of it. CSIS Unit 37. Blizzard? Toronto is under attack. Oh no, they're I showing know, Overwatch 2 and not a campaign trailer? About no sector this time. They've taken over most of the city and they're rounding up Omnix. They need our help. Is this an all the scrapped version of the campaign? Vincent's recall. You see, I would be fooled into thinking this is a campaign trailer, finally. We can stop Null Sector. Maybe we can save the city. Genuinely, it looks like this would be the campaign trailer. It's been a while, Vivian. As if I didn't have enough problems already. So we fly up there, smash through anything that gets in our way. I hate to interrupt the moment, but I'm picking up reports of more attacks in other cities. It's a fight they want. I say let's give it to them. New ways to play. Flashpoint. Oh, okay. So it's like a permanent uh, PvE mode. Engage. Target marked. Oh. Time to create peace with bullets. Maybe not a PvE mode. This is a PvE mode, though. Wow. Ah, the story missions. August 10th, okay. New character, probably right there. Let's go. Don't you just love Matthew Mercer? Fight with me. Are they just showing all the characters that are new to Overwatch 2? Are they trying to reboot already? Oh, it's the start of Heroes. Okay, I was gonna be like, we have always, this was a beta. World Definitely not what we were showing all these years ago. It must be the scraps of it. Atlas, another Persona game. What is this place? Chibi version like of Persona. What the hell is going on? Who same, Joey. People? Same. No idea. But if they're attacking us, our only choice is fighting back. Hey, look over there. Chibi Persona. Can you get us out of here. So you're telling me you're thieves. Wait, it's so a Fire so Emblems Persona type of thing. The Rebel Corps will always help the Phantom Thieves, just as the Phantom Thieves have helped the Rebel Corps. Never forget that we're a united force who can rely on each other. Okay. You should be grateful to have been made my subjects. But you're I'm just genuinely curious what made them choose, like, this particular art style compared to just sticking with the actual art style. Returning will be no easy feat. Somewhere deep 
inside, I know you realize things can't go on like this. So, will you take a stand beside us? Yeah! Let's show them what we got! Yep, Persona Tactics. Yes, Fatty! Pia Nice. Someday I'll play a Persona game. Someday. Same crowd though. They did the Blizzard lost the trust with me. It's interesting that they showed that off like it was acting like it was the campaign trailer. But anyone in the not know would have been like, wow! It's a crash Halo ring. Humanity we are getting Starfield. Why are we getting Starfield right now? In the unknown. We're having like a whole thing later. The wonder is. I don't think I understand either, Badger. Not that the field of stars is so vast. But that we have measured it. I don't get rid of Rod. I'm interested in seeing more. Don't waste my time when there's a whole other hour get dedicated to this. No, it's it's not Outer Worlds. No. It's Starfield. The robot is Starfield, which is why we already know that for sure, unfortunately. We're all here and because that we're committed to the biggest question of all. What's now I know, Madru. Out there. I do kind of sound like it though, Carolyn. Alright, so I want to see like the flying part. What the hell? You're part of Constellation now. Part of our family. I really want to know how buggy this game will be. Or not. Maybe that will be a miracle. We do not fully understand all that is at work here. No finer group in the stars to Ready. be unraveling this mystery. I'll follow you from here on out, Captain. Grab jump is ready. I thought I saw a space dino. These artifacts could be everything we've been looking for. Another great secret the universe is asking us to unravel. So do we get Todd Howard on stage for when they do the full little, like, afterwards thing? It's kind of rude to that one guy in particular. We are not stopping. Oh yeah, this is Whatever definitely the precursor the to Halo. Will change humanity forever. It's all forerunners confirmed. It'd be really cool if that's what Starfield was all about. You could track it all down, and it was actually just a precursor. This is where we belong. It's not. It'd be cool though. Is that an official release date? Did we have one before? 9-6. I am aware of this, thank you. Probably just in case people weren't aware of it, that's why they put it in there. Cool. World premiere. World premiere. I'm guessing we're only doing an hour. I don't think there would be more than an hour or so. Maybe. Oh no, heights. <laughs> Carolyn in heights. No. Oh god. That's quite the height. What is that butt looking creature in the back there? Hi. <laughs> what are you? Confirmed for butt? Banana? This is like a free climbing game. It's not free climbing because they're using gear. Like a marshmallow. <laughs> it's a cliff 97. <laughs> Views would be insane, though. 
So it's like if you were like really, really vibing with the uh, parts of climbing of Assassin's Creed, this game is for you. Is your goal to just get top of the mountain? It'd be kind of interesting if it was just an overall goal. To the very top of the cliff. Yeah, no, definitely not for you, Carolyn. That's cool. Thank you, sweet marshmallow. Justin? Is that right? <laughs> I think J U S A N T. World premiere. Hmm. Maybe it'd be cool to have a little bit of a difference. Did you do like a small bit to see if you like it? Star? Could also just leave it purple. What are we seeing right now? It looks like a spoopy game, that's for sure. Still wakes the deep. I hate that. Doing the thinky thonkies. I understand, Star. I understand. Some spooky horror survival, that's for sure. What we got next? Ooh. Cute art style. Kind of comic booky. Something cut 2.0? No, it's definitely not the walking game. Okay. <laughs> it's not. When I saw the sword, I'm like, I don't think there's sword combat in the walking game. I kind of like the art style. Cows. I do want to maybe try Bunker. I don't know if people would be interested in me trying Bunker, but maybe. Nisha Bunker. It's a puzzle game as well. It's an everything game. Dungeons of Hintenburg. Looks cool. I think that's a good idea too, Star. Yeah. Hi. Hey, what? I'm very Hi, you on stage, Cattle Reeves. To be returning is Johnny Silverhand in the upcoming expansion for Cyberpunk 2077. Phantom Liberty. <laughs> this new adventure reunites Johnny and V on a dangerous spy Where's my guy? And he introduces uh, Idris Elba as secret agent Solomon. No Lee. audience in this. It's really amazing to share this. You're breathtaking. You, That's what I want cool right now, right? Part of this game with you, man. Um, as a player, you'll get to visit Dogtown, an unexplored part of Night City. I think so. Yeah, rescue okay. the president of the new United States of America. That's a Expect huge price. Massive expansion, twists, secrets. I didn't know that, Kelly. Plenty of stuff to do. I know the team at CD Projekt Red just keeps raising the bar when it comes to telling cinematic stories in video games, and I really can't wait for you to play it on Xbox Series X and S. <laughs> but enough talking. I'm guessing you want to see. Felt like for S was an afterthought a little bit. And so it is my honor and pleasure. To give you Kawaii says hello. Introduce <gasps> the official trailer for Phantom Liberty. Background Kawaii. Check oh, it out. Good, good, good. Please yell. Okay, there you go. There's got to be a way out of this. Johnny. Enemy! <laughs> I'm dying. There's nothing can stop that. Keanu Reeves is not an enemy, probably. Probably. V. My name is Songbird. I'm an NUS intelligence analyst. I know about the bomb ticking in your head. 
And I can save your <sighs> life. What's the catch? I need you to get to Dogtown. Attention all Dogtown residents. Man, this town didn't look like it survived very well. Man's got a thousand and one reasons to want Myers as a hostage. Sleeper agents. Time to wake them up. So NUSA is tossing us back into the fray, huh? Stay sharp. We're in the wolf's den now. Huh. Jojo, GG, Joey. Get Myers out of Jojo. Here. Time to evac. And from my understanding, but it's functional now. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, I almost missed that oddly. Shit! They catch us out here, we're dead. Wait, hear that? God almighty! It's moving! Run! This way! Quick! Bye, elevator person. I've never really paid attention. Uh, I never played 2077, and anytime Caroline did, she didn't really play it too much. Uh, story missions around me. Just want what Songbird promised me: the cure. Situation has changed. Need to know if you're with me. Illusion of freedom draws in the desperate. Ten out of ten. Come on, got iron in your head. Got to put it to someone's head. Ow! Pull the trigger. Do anything and do it soon. I'll die. Oh, a lot of things coming out in September. I think it carries off uh, right after the main story agreed. So close. I think you you had that one in the bag. Just just a little different. Where's my Sea of Thieves and Viva Pinata crossover? Come on, Rare, World you have it. Premier. Why is Atlas everywhere? What what if the world we lived in today is their utopia? Who's Utopia? What? Not a single clue how long this will be. Either an hour or hour and a half, though. We're about either almost at the end or about to see more. Honore 
I wonder what made Atlas just suddenly have all their games coming out that they could just show so many things. Is Atlas a bigger company or developer or publisher than I think they are? Is that really what this is? Oh, gotcha, Badger. True. Multiple competent teams, Kelly. Oh, big brain squad. Nice Atlas joke, 10 out of 10. <laughs> Everything's 2024 right now. Is, uh, well, and September. 2024 in September. World premiere! Alright, either this is the last one or we're about to have more. It's a lot of trailers. Of the banner saga. Really? Humanity's cities have fallen. Our people's only means of survival. <laughs> that looks like Fred. Is to see the <laughs> here. In the Belfry. I'm just gonna be doing better. You must explore this world to find the origins of this evil. I'm about the art style. I don't know how the gameplay is, but hey, then you must really be excited for Human Fall Flat 2 that's coming in. Our people. <laughs> A co-op adventure. Well, side me up, sir. Oh. Now, if you start telling me this is like kind of feels like Castle Crashers again, that I desperately miss Castle Crashers, I'm I'm signing in. Looks a little more dimensional in that. Kind of type of game, yeah. That's my more main point of what I made. Humanity. Towerborn got my interest. 2024, you stop shaking your weird tail, booty. Is that it? You got another half hour, 15 minutes. More. <laughs> World premiere. I have no clue how long this is. I think they purposely didn't say how long this was supposed to be because then they're also just going to go right into Starfield. So I have no clue. In exile. This city is a miracle of progress. A finely tuned, delicately balanced machine. Is this that, like, Bioshock, a uh, spiritual successor game? Oh. Everybody do a rewind. But it only takes one rebellious little gear to ruin everything. There was supposed to be a spiritual successory type of game, right? If you resist my rule. It's not supposed to be a uh, actual successor to the game, but a spiritual successor. If you alter our past. So it's not if infinite, you but threaten what I have built. There is nowhere in space cool. or time where I will not destroy you. Wow, destructible environments and repairable environments. I'm interested. Oh, oh, that's a cool concept. If you keep changing things too much, that's so cool. It's death loop with Bioshock. Before my steampunk puts one in your scalp. Cool. Clock. Clockwork. 
Revolution. Eventually, <laughs> there's another nut of tighter. Clockwork revolution, time to die. Get it? Because time? Okay. I'm interested. They're here? Okay. I will be respectful then. Thank you all for joining us. Oh, Phil Spencer is over. Today is a special day for me and the team. I'm excited to see 11 games showcased from our first party studios. We opened with Fable from Playground Games. I'm interested. Which will bring the franchise into the modern era while staying true to its British style and humor. Okay. <laughs> Compulsion and In Exile shared their first original experiences since joining Xbox with South of Midnight and clockwork it revolution. looks so cool and we are thrilled at how avowed is shaping i think up we're about to be done yeah. next year from the rpg masters at obsidian in addition to avowed our studios will deliver hellblade 2 an all-new microsoft flight simulator that new flight sim does look pretty cool in 2024 later this month players can look forward to elder scrolls online necrom and Sea of Thieves Monkey Island. Let me try Island. that, honestly. As we look to holiday, we will launch Starfield and Forza Motorsport, both built for Xbox Series X, S, and PC. Neat. We are also honored to share 14 games today from our creative partners, like Star Wars Outlaws from Ubisoft Massive, in so collaboration apparently with gameplay Lucasfilm tomorrow, Games. Or whatever the forward 33 is. 33 Immortals I don't like from this Thunder Lotus. Kunitsu Gami, Path of the Goddess from Capcom, and more Persona games coming to Game Pass thanks to our continued partnership with Sega Atlas. I'd also like to congratulate nice the Studio place. Zero team on Metaphor Refantasio. It's great to be able to premiere what is next from the creators of Persona here in our showcase. We are focused on putting our players and game creators first in everything we do. No matter if you choose to play on Xbox, PC, or over the cloud, all gamers are welcome here at Xbox. Gamers. <laughs> when it comes to our think consoles, that word's so fun. we have heard your feedback on two fronts. It First, was Fable at the very, very beginning. We increased our supply of Xbox There's Series no X. There's no gameplay yet, Making though. it easier for fans to find globally. Second, we know yeah, we don't you've know wanted more storage with Xbox Series S. And I'm excited to share. We have some news there as well. Yeah, but one last thing. Wait. No. Okay, it must be. Oh, they're just making. Okay, gotcha. I understand more what this is. <laughs> they just didn't want to have the old version anymore. They just wanted to match it with the Series X. And now uh, for the one. No, I haven't done the X apps. I forget what it was. You for. did post it though. Prepare for the most comprehensive deep dive we've ever done for the biggest game we've ever built. So sit tight and enjoy Starfield Direct. Starfield Direct. I wonder how long this one's gonna be. I don't know. Do you guys want to watch it? Also, Pokey gets a uh, dust clocks. Clops. <laughs> I think so, Spud.
to the people and creatures that live in these worlds. I wonder how they'll that make it interesting to explore that everything. That moon is actually there orbiting the planet. Yes, you can visit it too. We realistically simulate the galaxy around you. Right. Our next generation lighting model uses real-time global illumination to light the world based on the type of star and the makeup of the planet's atmosphere. That's pretty cool. We also have an all-new animation system. And of course, you can play it in third person. I'm about that. And you can play it in Especially first Especially if I can make myself look super goofy, I am most assuredly about it. We love exploration and rewarding it, but you it's do explore very, differently in this game, given its very scale. Very similar look feeling. That usually involves exploring no an area you've landed in. I do kind of look like the Halo Arch, yeah. You can collect resources. Spud, you broke my mind for about three seconds there. Something unexpected. <laughs> Thank you, Spud. Man, that guy didn't even want to talk. He's just immediately a hostile, you lay. Suddenly, also, Destiny music. <laughs> it kind of feels like it, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Rank dolls immediately have me interested, though. Woo! It's kind of a space P90. We do love stuff and all of the items allowing you to pick everything up. And you can view all that in your data menu. Okay. This is the hub for everything you're doing from your okay, skills so Emmy's to your okay ship, now. your missions, and your inventory. We love to pack a ton yeah, of detail Todd Howard, in every yep. object, from all of your weapons, to spacesuits, to food. We just obsess over the details, and food. We obsess over food. <laughs> you gotta get your anime style food. When you're food. done exploring, you can walk back or fast travel to your ship. We have companions and crew you can take with you. I left Vasco here back at my ship. Welcome back, Captain Howard. And he can even say your what? name. What? Oh, because AI. AI. <laughs> Captain Howard. Oh my god. They of course put that in there. Oh, I'm gonna have like Our Captain Dick Butt. Our mission was the wonder and majesty of space Man, exploration. Man, the music that just happened the really confused me. Of the golden age of early space flight. Is this happening and in this year? this approach as NASA punk. This means a design language where the tech is advanced, yet still looks grounded and relatable. For NASA us, punk is an awesome That's name. where the visual interest is. Obviously the NASA, which is the rigid, hard, function over style. And then Succeed, punk, which is also all about perfect. style. You can see that visual style coming through in your ship. Your ship is your home for you and your crew. And like many Diximus, of the spaces Maximus. in our game, it has a slightly retro perfect. and analog touch. A bit of lo-fi rather than sci-fi, where everything is well used, worn, and lived in. Alrighty, what's the plan, Captain? That's an excellent beard, just saying. This is your star map. It starts with the planet you're currently on. You can see all of its info and resources. You can choose a landing spot or fast travel to known locations. Okay. Backing out further, you can view all the planets in the system. Obviously, the game is big. And it's here you can see planets that have key locations, missions, or life on them, versus the many planets that are barren but resource heavy. Oh, okay. Zoom out even further to see all the systems in this part of the galaxy. <laughs> this part. Here you can plot a course to ones that are light years away. This uses your ship's grav drive to fold space and jump to these systems. Cool. And you will need to upgrade your ship and skills if you want to jump to the most distant ones. But for now, we'll plot a course to the Alpha Centauri system where we can find the city of New Suddenly Atlantis. made me cool as a space fan. <laughs> Alpha Centauri is like, ooh. Do they have to like input all those controls there? It's not like left trigger and right trigger and stuff all of a sudden. Welcome to UC Space. Yeah, near future. Maintain your current course while we scan your ship's cargo. No contraband on board, okay. Scan complete. You are cleared for landing at New Atlantis. Mm. I'm very intrigued though. Okay. Okay. I like that. 
getting scanned just to see if you have any contraband. As as you, you can be it, like a smuggler. You Atlantis, your I think a smuggler, yeah. Guided upwards to just these That's so pretty. vast buildings. It's the biggest city we've ever made, not just in size, but also in the amount of custom art, crowds, and quests. It's very pretty. So the main focus when we're designing a city is obviously what supports the story. We try and tell as many small stories as possible. This is a colony war memorial. It's oh. a few moments of gameplay that make the space Thanks, feel like it's full of real characters that are going about their day-to-day -day lives. It's paralyzed if you really stop and think about it. Buddy, it's coffee. It's also where your adventure with Constellation begins. Oh, you start here? Hello. Welcome to Constellation. We have a lot to talk about. Kisses? By the time you meet them, Constellation is sort of seen as this mythical group. Most people I don't love this know they shirt. exist anymore. <laughs> they're the last true explorers in the galaxy, and they're trying to find the answers to some of humanity's biggest questions. The artifacts are so different. I feel like in this game so it'd be alien. really fun to be a smuggler. And I'm certain one of them reached out and spoke to you. Raccoon. Ooh. The artifact. If you could place it on the table here. Oh my god. Look at how it's coming together. That means there's a set built by an intelligence outside the settled system. That suddenly it's looks like a halo an ring. Eclectic castle <laughs> You've got Sarah Morgan, the ex-soldier and adventurer, now Constellation's leader. Mateo, the theologian who believes that there's definitely something else out there. Noel, the gifted scientist and Sarah Morgan's protege. And Walter, it has a to be very right, successful Kelly. businessman in the settled systems and Constellation's financier. Anything goes as long as you have the money. There's also Vlad, the ex-pirate, Sam Coe, the former space cowboy, and Barrett. You know what I hate about these pirates? Completely resistant to my otherwise irresistible charm. <laughs> the journey you take with Constellation okay. is just the first of many you'll embark on. The Settled Systems is home to all kinds of different stories, people, and adventures uh, for you to uncover. Here. Probably where the story really takes off. I got that joke. The United Colonies is where you'll find Maybe they're New retired, Atlantis, Carolyn? The first major human settlement in space. The people who live here value law, discipline, and the legacy of humanity. They consider themselves the true children of Earth. You ever think of joining uh, up with the Vanguard? Help the United Colonies? Did they say how many years after citizenship? them getting off Earth this was? New Atlantis isn't the only city within oh the United Oh my God, Colonies. what the hell's that? The city of Sidonia on Mars to this day serves as the largest Does that mean you can go to Earth? for the United Colonies. 11 hours. Beyond the United Colonies reach, you might find yourself in a much more wild and independent coalition of star systems. This is Freestar Collective Space. You can go to Mars, you should be able to go to Earth, right? The capital of the Freestar Collective is Aquila City. The Stone Root Inn is an Aquila City fixture. A ranger relies on judgment and intuition to do what's best for the people. Oh. Neon started out as a fishing platform, but is now known throughout the settled systems as a pleasure city where almost anything <laughs> Pleasure <goes>. city! <laughs> got morality issues? This definitely isn't the job for you. Oh my, look at that pleasure! <laughs> the best and brightest of today for all I wonder if that's how they actually look or Everyone because this is a more widely a huge broadcast. Neon. Try not to get yourself killed, all right? Enjoy your haircut, Logan. I want to see it before and after. Outside the bounds of civilized space, there are still plenty of unclaimed systems to explore, but these areas are also home to the most hostile factions in the galaxy. Guy. The great serpent hungers. All heathens. It's so cool out right now. If you haven't been outside today, it's glorious. A new face. This is the face of a brave runner here to challenge the Red Mile. They think the up, galaxy really. is theirs. They are wrong. It belongs to the Crimson Fleet. It always has. 
In Starfield, we're pushing our cities and settlements further than we ever have before. It's all there, waiting for you. A slice of humanity's future. So, ready to get out there? I'm interested. Throughout the galaxy, there are so many things to see and stories to experience. I want to land on your anus. story is the one that you tell. I'm the type yeah, of person who spends hours in character creation. And I think people are going to be really excited when they see all of the improvements we've made. I know you can't land on your anus. One That's of fine. the biggest overhauls was Probe done it. through our character generation system. We scanned a wide range of faces from different age groups and ethnicities. And by mixing and matching all that data, we were able to create highly detailed and diverse characters. That's kind of cool. We use that I exact system to create all the characters and NPCs you're going to see in the game. Oh, I mean, so any with the demon? you see nice. almost always is a character you could make yourself. That's cool. Hey, come on. Come on. Okay, take it easy. You were out cold. Uh, no physical damage. Mentally, the jury's still out. <laughs> you know who you are? New recruit for Argos. Is this Express? literally how this starts? Ring any bells? Any of this look familiar? Okay. That was a granny! You start your character creation journey as though you're cycling through him. Grandpa! Records. You'll pick from a lineup of 40 presets, and that'll be your starting point. Okay. All thick. Your journey from there can be as detailed or as quick as you want it to be. This new system has more to huh. offer than ever before. I Emmy mean, is probably communing with a very serious demon right now, and it's, it's, it's bad time as possible to make for Carolyn downstairs with the various facial morphs you can blend together. You know, she says the dermesthetic and makeup, me. blemishes, scars, piercings, teeth probably. settings. It's a lot, but I think it's the most fun to use. Uh, teeth. Character creation is more than just how you look. This is also where you start to decide who you want Carolyn's to be. Carolyn's going to spend That's 60 hours on character customization. Backgrounds give you a bit of backstory and start you out with three basic skills. From That's to I'm death. excited. Just you know, if the they has a bedding pool. This looks this good. X apps is gonna look so good in the next Elder Scrolls and Fallout. What's great about backgrounds is you never know when yours is gonna come in handy. You could be in the middle of a fancy restaurant talking to some guy, and suddenly you learn he needs a beast hunter to help track down a monster. Fine. I probably should stick to professionals anyway, given what happened the last time. We're also giving you the option to customize your build even further by letting you pick up to three traits. Three traits? It's completely optional, and they come with their own advantages and disadvantages. You could choose to meet your biggest fan. By the terror, by the terror, by the terror. Is it really, <laughs> really you? That's hilarious. And it'll give you gifts if you're willing to put up with this constant commentary. I can't believe I get to stand near you. Breathing. That's awesome. Air. I've got to have every molecule. It is the Oblivion Elf guy. Okay, yeah. It's kid stuff. You have to pay some credits to support your parents, but they're very sweet and it's I really love fun him. to visit them. Honey, we got ourselves a visitor. Oh my God! I came across some hostile. It is the same. I was wondering if it was the I same chose person. Because I a tree that made me the same religion as them, I was able to get by without any issues. There's another great one that gives you a damage buff when your health is low, but mercenaries will randomly show up and try to kill you. Fun. No matter what you choose, there will be plenty of ways for you to tell Man, your story. Man, th they're doing some cool trait, stuff. There are ways to do that too. What a view! It's a feast for the eyes. Off we go to another adventure. <laughs> we'll let you discover that on your own. Cool. Well, they have me very, very interested, that's for sure. He's writing on the board! What could it mean? Oh, that's Once cool you've art. Built the perfect character, that's when your journey can really begin. We took what we loved about skills and perks from our previous games and put them together to create an all new skill system. Each time Octopus. you level up, you get a skill point, which can be used to unlock or rank up skills. <laughs> Payloads. I'm sorry, Zigzagoon. Ranks are unlocked by completing challenges associated with that skill. Hmm. Challenges become increasingly difficult as you work That's your way cool. to higher ranks. With our five different skill trees and four ranks per skill, there's a lot to choose from. 
I like the Xeno sociology skill because it lets you mind control aliens. What? Oh, the wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Boost pack out of the gate. I'm boost pack and everywhere. I like maxing out my physical tree so I can get neuro strikes and just punch my way through combat. <laughs> well, bullets be all around you. Ah! <laughs> that one's a lot of fun. Don't tempt me with a good time. Invest in the skills that suit your play style. I'm very much a stealth player. So I'm out there pickpocketing everyone. My favorite part about being stealthy is slowly creeping through vents like you're in a movie. Oh, no. And then jumping out and springing on people. Whenever I want to see what happened. Like my way through one punch man. Yep. Exactly. So I'm guessing one punch man is what you're going to go for. I'll issue you an access card. I'm more of a run and gun player. I like doing the death from above thing where I boost pack over guys and I throw landmines at them. <laughs> That's really it's air mines at that point. Hi, Josh. All right, PE walks. I like blowing stuff up. <laughs> cool. I just want to know how much there is to do on planets that are just just visiting, unless you're just looking at them Exploration mostly. Exploration is a key aspect of all right, our right, games. Right. Are they telling me right now? In Starfield, there are full star systems with new life, resources, job, Caroline. and adventures. Our team worked hard to strike a balance between yeah, fun maybe and XF. realism. We studied data from NASA and a multitude of other sources to help us make the world feel believable. Okay, okay. From the way we approached planetary atmospheres to That's the way cool. we placed biomes based on the planet's distance from the sun. Once we had created a grounded world, we could start looking at all the things that make that That's world That's a really fun. cool creature. When you leave a planet and head into space, you'll be navigating asteroid fields, having chance meetings with interesting strangers, dogfighting in space, and exploring derelict ships. Oh, derelict exploring. Space! Hi, Sadie! That's it's so cool looking. There. Stop it. You're just hitting me with space. Ultimately, it's about rewarding your curiosity. Because whether it's on the surface of a planet, the alleys of a city, or the vastness of space, so you never know what you'll find. That would be so cool, Joey. There has to be mods. It's like zero percent chance there's not mods. You're gonna settle in an ice world? That'd be so cool. Look, all those different Space ships too. Space exploration is possible. Thanks. Could to your be two percent. Your ship is almost like having another. So this is post home, the actual game showcase, Josh. I think you'll be shut off a bunch of games, but I'll talk about them later. You, you can buy a ship. I'm sure you can find something you like. Customize and upgrade. This that is just ship. the Starfield stuff now. And hire a crew to keep it up and running. That's fun. And it all starts in spaceports. Just casually, every spaceport like, has a ship technician. My TV crib, except it's now and modify ships. Anything I can help MTV you with? crib, sorry. Uh, it's just the, the, the ship fighter that's perfect for bounty hunting. Show off your ships. Oh, you might round out your ship roster with a hulking space freighter to run cargo cool. missions or even do a little smuggling. For now, though, we're going to take our starting ship, the Frontier, and make some okay, changes. Okay, okay, I want to see. You can customize and upgrade Insanity. everything you see here. And you have two ways to do that. You can quickly upgrade individual systems like your weapons or shields, or you can deep dive and enter the shipbuilder mode. Oh my gosh. Here you can change anything from the systems to the look and layout. What? <laughs> Adding a new habitat module can give you more room for crew. Adding cowling can change your ship's overall silhouette. Wow. An improved grav drive allows for longer distance space jumps. Wow. You can even <sighs> fully customize your paint job to get the exact look you That's want. That's so cool. You, you can the absolutely parts you make a Normandy. With don't just affect your ship's stats. They'll also affect what you can do inside your ship. You can have modules for crafting, 
There's going to be so many people who make just cool weapons. ships without even having to Starfield's have modded. Starfield's in-game ship manufacturers bring their own look and feel to every piece of your ship. From living quarters to cargo holds, mess halls, and control <laughs> rooms. Penis ships, perfect. Our modified Frontier is a practical ship, but with a little creativity, your ship can look like almost Understandable, anything Karen. you want. It's a bit odd, but one of my favorite ways of customizing ships is- It looks like is, a fantastic um, game, Josh. I make them look like animals. Animals? The HMS platypus, <laughs> as I call it. <laughs> where it had a, like a giant tail to it. Mm. And we've done spiders, We've done mechs. Cool! <laughs> so it's really whatever your imagination is. And while you can build That's your funny. home among the stars the way I'm gonna you make want to, you're ship. probably not the only person who will call your ship home. Okay. Ready to lift off when you are. Oh, and absolutely, Joy. It would be awful in Amazon. Engine's ready. The frontier is fueled and ready, Captain. Some of the members of Constellation Abu can join you on your journey. Ooh. These companions can serve on your crew, and they'll always be there when you travel. We'll be traveling together until we either find an artifact or this lead runs dry. She's good Each at lasers. Each companion comes with their own valuable skills for your ships and outposts, as well as unique quest lines. Eventually, some friendships <gasps> might blossom into romance. I don't know that I've ever really loved anyone except you. And if you're looking for a little extra help September on your ship, you can 6th always hire additional crew at spaceports. Got any room on your ship I don't know if there's like PvP, me? Josh. You'll also meet potential crew members out in the world. Still think there might be a I'm worried about that a little bit, Kelly, but I, 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 I'm, I'm just going to remain excited. Why, crew why hurt me right now? I'm just going to be excited skills now. skills will affect how they run. And just like companions, most crew members can lend a hand in the field. Take Bosco, for instance. Hi, Bosco. He's designed around the, the core basics of a NASA machine. Please avoid getting shot. You might die. <laughs> I still wanted to give it almost a humanoid personality, right. so I elongated the limbs. This tends to make him feel more human-like and give him a little personality. It is a shame. Exploration requires so much bloodshed. <laughs> By the way, if you guys missed it, that, the ship that robot there can say your actual name of your character. Field. You'll be able to build and captain so if you the named ship of yourself your dreams. Sadie. They will say Sadie. And now, let's take to the sky. Well, we could build Fisto, probably. So cool. Why did it kind of sound like a land speeder on the way out of there? We're putting you in the cockpit. I don't know who could ever be named Sadie. It's telling crazy. You, you can do pretty much anything. And that is really cool for That's us fair. As developers. You'd rather be Space wrong than be exciting uh, right. And, dangerous. and you yeah. should feel like you're in complete control you every yes. step of the way. Same, Kelly. We've extended that sense of control to ship combat. It's not about just hitting your triggers to fire your cool. weapons. It's a complex the screaming. dance between your piloting skills and our power allocation system. Oh. Boosting power to your engines okay. will make your ship faster. A little bit of uh, FTL in Powering there. Powering up the ground drives will shorten the amount of time it takes before you can make a jump. Oh. Cool. Okay. And moving your power to it's your It's going to be on Game Pass, Josh. So not free, but on Game Pass. You should always be on your toes because you're not alone out there. Crimson Fleet Hunt. He's just by himself. He can't be a fleet. Get wrecked, Mr. Yor. How dare you call yourself a fleet? Unlocking the targeting control system skill oh. will allow you to zero in on specific subsystems of the ship you target. Oh. Oh, that's cool. So you could, in theory, shoot out their engines and then board them? <gasps> right? After destroying an enemy ship, you can loot the remains from your cockpit. Okay. 
You can always turn any ship that engages you into scrap. Okay. Okay, tell me about docking. But you can also take a more personal <gasps> approach by docking yeah! with the enemy vessel and boarding <laughs> your ship. That made me really excited. Okay. That's so cool. Once you've taken control of an enemy ship, it's yours. What? Add it to your fleet and retrieve it at any cool. space. Cool. But space is way more than fighting for your life. Okay. Just like when you're planet side, there are plenty of sights to see and stops to make on the way to your next adventure. I want to explore nebulas. I think like so. These massive it's it's star anything yards. that's in like a solar system you can explore, including moons Walk the and halls. stuff like talk that. To the crew. Is what they showed earlier. Maybe get talked into buying a whole new ship. A civilian in my star yard. Let's see about getting that your tattoo ship. though. One with your view. Maybe you'll dock with a gigantic battleship like the UC. Maybe I should take a weekend then, Carolyn. Be fun just to do stupid long stream of this. Or rub elbows with the galaxy's wealthy elite on a cruise ship fit for the stars. I don't think there's PvP. I think it's all solo. There are plenty of personal encounters to be had as well. You can hail any ship you come across to trade, swap info, or maybe even commit an act of piracy. Let's do this. When I'm playing, I generally go crazy. Um, I definitely go like the more piracy routes. Um, I want to take over ships i'm gonna board ships i'm like this is now mine i steal all the sandwiches, no, all the sandwiches. Them, you know in my cargo hold that i have specifically for sandwiches what? i don't want to play the hero um but i want to go out and just start taking things from people as quickly as possible <laughs> i'm a little concerned Some that seems might be looking for a unhinged little connection <laughs> in the darkness of space hello stranger i just finished cooking up some food if you want to come on over, just pop on Go by. Go and visit Grandma. Some of the best moments are the ones you discover on your own. What? The thing I love most about Starfield is that it is a Bethesda game through and through. It's really about going to strange new places, meeting interesting people, and getting sidetracked on zany adventures. Then, realizing two hours later that you're involved in a completely new story. You're human. We thought we were the only ones to leave Earth. That DNA is so present here. It's in our random encounters, it's in our handcrafted quests, and it feels so cool to play it and just make your own path in this universe. There are over a thousand planets out there just waiting for you to visit. Cool. We want you to feel like explorers, breaking ground on new planets, exploring every inch of a mostly untouched galaxy. We want you to feel hopeful, we want you to feel this sense of awe and wonder, and sometimes a little fear. We're That's a lot of ships that are angry. And a ton of toys. Oh, you got your young goose. Just setting you free. I believe it's going to lose your interest, then, Josh. Hey, everybody, Hi, we've Todd. shown you so much stuff, but we thought we'd just. Take a little break and show you something a, a little bit different. You know, we put so much detail into our game worlds and we love the opportunity to bring that into the real world with our collector's editions. I mean, absolutely, and for this game that would be Star uh, Citizen. We've done a watch. It is the Constellation Explorer's Watch. Um, this is the watch that you actually get in the game cool. that acts as part of your HUD where it's the compass and then environmental information. It connects to your phone to give you notifications and other information. And we've also designed this really cool case that it comes with, uh, Eastvon. Cool. Yeah, we really took as much care and designed this case as we did to watch. Wow. Our attention to detail in the game totally translates to this. Inspired by the cases that the astronauts used during the Apollo era to bring back samples from the moon. That's cool. It's got an intricate locking mechanism, authentic cool. heavy, comes with a constellation patch, NATO strap, and the overall functionality and believability of this as something that would okay. exist in the world in the Starfield universe. It's a pretty cool collector's edition. Plus, also watch, it's a usable collector's item. It even tells the time. We actually have something else. Now that we're part of Xbox, we get to work with the amazing people on the Xbox hardware team, and together we have created this custom limited edition Starfield Neat. controller. It's awesome. It is now, you know, our favorite controller. So what's on the we triggers there? Because it's inspired by the actual the, the watch does work, yeah. And not only that, 
We've created the first ever custom headset with Xbox. These got leaked. I and did see this these. Is a perfect pairing with that controller. Hopefully they made a lot of these because the Pip Boy, like Xops was saying, went fast. Nice, Hannah. Perfect. Carolyn, Carolyn. You can get it. I mean, it. it I, well, we can't both use the watch, but you could if you want to. Go for it. In every one of our games, we always put so much care into all those little details that breathe life into our worlds. But Starfield isn't just a Bethesda Game Studios world. It's a Bethesda Game Studios Sure, it'll galaxy. be my treat to you for the anniversary. So why go this big with Starfield? because we want to give you freedom on a galactic level. The freedom to experience both the exciting planets and the quiet ones. Scanning a planet before you land is a great way to get a sneak peek at the available resources you can use for crafting, building, oh, that's and true. customizing. So you would get I the watch, I get cool the about game. this whole that's system fair. that we, we generate the planet itself as a procedural content, but the handcrafted content itself comes as the player explore our system builds a planet as the player approaches it it will also, stitch together you need a lot of things terrain. after that we have the system that adds interesting locations for the player to explore what the hell is that color, or in plants to pick up it allows us to add that touch of environmental storytelling that Bethesda is known for Aggressive creatures have been disrupting our experiments. Their habitat isn't far from here. If you could take care of them for us, we would be in your debt. So even if your friends were to visit the same planet that you had, you would have a different story to tell. Hmm. Ooh, mysterious music. Okay. Yeah, same, Joey. That's kind of my thought process. <laughs> I'm going to focus as often as I can to shoot jetpacks. Or H2O packs or whatever they were. Nice. <laughs> Ooh, fun crate. It's Yule completely paste. up to you how you want to interact with each planet. Whether you want to explore and see what you can find, Whoa. harvest resources and be on your way, Iron. or simply take in the views. It's your new With skull collection, it's perfect. You'll chart the uncharted and discover exotic wildlife. If you have the skills, you can even figure out that certain creatures and plants, you can build an outpost and produce resources from those plants and animals. It's a swarming dragon was that experience name. Experience and rewards for fully surveying planets and fully surveying. So this is like system. the most no man's sky -y part of the game. What the hell's when that? We were concepting these creatures. We really wanted to think of them as <laughs> natural like... to the environment. We didn't want alien monsters. We wanted native wildlife. They did pretty cool. Something you've never seen before. I really like that creature. When it comes to our exteriors, I wonder if you can find moves, a turgle out there. All that light is calculated in real time through the atmosphere. Our biggest goal for lighting with Starfield was to make the game feel more filmic, to use lighting and color to really make it feel more cinematic. So pretty. What the heck is that? I'm honestly going to say that way too many at times when I'm just playing this game. Do need a Wilhelm scream so bad. There better be at least one Wilhelm scream in there. That's cool looking. Ah, pretty. And now the music is getting me too. Got those spine tingles. If it runs properly, uh, properly at launch, it's gonna After absolutely exploring, hit. You can find a spot There's just to no set up way a base it doesn't camp. like absolutely succeed. 
Outposts can be built almost anywhere on any planet. Okay, outpost time. And the habitat modules come in all shapes and sizes, <laughs> filling all different purposes. You can even live in them. Cool. Assign crew and companions to work at your outposts for added bonuses and set up extractors to harvest resources while you're away. Okay. Something cool we have this time is we have I a love that hair. where you can toggle between on foot building or you can now use a top down isometric camera, which helps plan out larger parts of the outpost and placing those larger halves. So that way you can really cool. plan your structures and what the overall feel of your outpost is. And then when you're on your feet, that's a lot you can of minimum really stuff. Decorate and fine tune things much easier. You're gonna find an Ewok planet and obliterate it, the poor planet. Cool. I like that weird little droid. Maybe you can get gonk droids. <laughs> Customize a droid to make a gonk droid. Gonk. Add crafting and research stations in your spot. I think you really should just get an Xbox Series X. Already have. Save yourself. <laughs> Use the couch. Mod your weapons to adapt them to your playstyle. Different weapon sights and scopes. Larger magazines. A selection of grips and barrels. Different ammunition like explosive rounds. Ooh. Very explosive. All your stealth players out there will R2D2, surely yes. need a suppressor. Okay. I like the sound of that. Very satisfying. You can also choose to go hands-on with melee weapons. Yes, attack this mobile sphincter. I think it's always a delicate balance between like what's realistic, what's sim, and what's Hollywood. And I think we sort of err on the side of like what's fun for the player. I like fun for the player, thank you. With Starfield, we've completely overhauled our combat. It's more dynamic, the animations are more fluid. Nice canisters. It just feels great. Fun. We probably have more mods and more weapons in this game than <laughs> I want to say any other game we've done before. I think when I play, a lot of variety. I'm gonna screw over myself, right? I want to do maybe a challenge right away. Is every time I find a new gun, I immediately have to use it. Combat. You may need to switch things up based on your environment. Gravity is different for each planet, and boost packs are excellent for getting around. Cool and for giving you an edge in combat. Sometimes you'll even feel like you're flying. Well, I mean, you kind of are in some ways. <laughs> zero gravity environments pose a different challenge. Firing a ballistic weapon in zero G will actually push you backwards. Did you do a pole system for what? Energy oh, weapons, I could. on the other hand, offer- So you're saying like, should I use this experience. weapon? Yes, no. We also have that what you mean next up? These are high powered electromagnetic induction ballistic arrays. Each barrel has its own target cool. and, laser and can dish out some serious damage. Okay. I really like whatever that is. It looks like it eats you ammo for days. Personal with your own two fists. <laughs> or you like more compact weapons like pistols and something. Fish would be guns. also very fun. Or maybe you prefer something bigger. Whoa. Does it say the hunting maggot man? Starfield's got you covered. Oh, his ankles! Oh, his face! Oh, nice reload. 2D! Not 2D. Third person! <laughs> I was thinking about Spud's joke of being in second person. That's what I really like is so many models, which is why I think I would really want to use as many different guns as possible. Cool. Nice stab. Oh god, those look scary. Anytime I'm just being charged to get fisted is something that I just suddenly go like, no! Bye. <laughs> oh, the fist! Watch out for the fist! Wait. Force powers? Uh-oh. What? Thanks again what? for being with us today. We are just so grateful that you've taken the time 
and spent it here. I know there was probably a lot to take in. There's a lot to the Yeah, game, there was. What was that last part, here. Todd? You know, as we play it, we're always sharing these unique and special moments that only a game like this can bring. When I think about what makes it special, it really is the people hey, fist here. Out. <laughs> this game is a <laughs> reflection of the incredible and passionate team that made it. All of them putting something special of themselves into it. So let's hear some of their favorite moments. Yeah, come I on. Why can't we just buy a sports power? Our final combination of all the new tech has come together to create some of the most beautiful sunsets and sunrises we've ever had in any of our games. I love the creatures, the exploration, I actually every really biome like the creatures is different. Too. The as much as that, that sphincter one makes me uncomfy. Vast. I like to use our photo mode to take rock star photos. Nice. Oh, that's cool. I just love that constant feel of discovery and wow, I can't believe that there's more here. I'm most excited about our outpost building systems. My favorite part is every time you step out on a planet, it's a unique experience. Looks really cool. You spend all this time building your ship and you see it on the landing pad. The These things type. are gigantic. It's the kind of thing that you just can't get anywhere else. There's something about seeing a tower over in the distance and going, I know the gravity's low here. I think I can make that jump. That's cool. My favorite part is biomes, spaceships, audio design, planets, the day-night cycle. Those details matter to me. Diplomacy, exploration, freedom, the ending. Best Damn, go. you're right. Obviously. I love. I am what I came so from. A sphincter. The incredible amount of worlds. It's not what you said though, Killer. Sniper <laughs> rifles, come on. Lever action. Should be comfortable. Rocket launcher. Brain sprout. Brain sprout. Oh. I love, but some people might find creepy. I don't know. I know it's right, Ben. <laughs> the thing that I enjoy most about the game is the freedom to be who you want to be. Oh, I could see that. That would be fun to accept. It's what you've come to expect from a Bethesda title, but on a much bigger the scale. Pacifist run. Go through the portal! On behalf of all of us, we can't wait for you to play Starfield and make your own special moments. That just looks actually like lots and lots and lots of fun. Thanks for showing off the watch again, Collector's Edition. I'm guessing these pre-orders are going to come up today, so if anybody actually wants these Collector's Edition, be on top of it. Uh, they're going to go probably incredibly fast. I can't imagine they have a bunch of watches. Accurate, accurate sound effect. Okay. That, that direct uh, did fantastic to make me want this game. I wasn't basically at all interested in it. Uh, oh, pre-order stuff. Uh, and then there's also, oh, up to five days early access. Wow. And there's the uh, whole collector's edition. Digital game code actually apparently was in the background there. Wow. Okay. Okay. You got me. Are we getting the whole overall showcase? We are. This is perfect for anybody who missed it earlier. I don't know. It's probably keep an eye on socials aggressively and also go to Xbox and refresh over there. Pokey catch, by the way, Loomis. I'm so excited. So much cool stuff ended up getting shown. I didn't have that much expectations from this uh, showcase, but then I just 100% in it. Except for you, Blizzard. Get out of here. Stop hurting me. Thanks for showing off the TIE Fighter getting exploded again. Made me happy. And then also like a dragon too, sort of. That was cool. And then like the Bioshock. Man, this was, this was just a stacked time. I had a great time watching this showcase with y'all. Thanks for coming on by, everybody. It was, it was huge. Payday, yeah, I forgot about Payday. Towerborn is something I'll absolutely play. What was that, uh, 33 player co-op game? I kind of want to try that too. I don't remember what it was called though. I don't know if it's gonna appear on here. Uh, a 33 Immortals, that one. That one was cool. Nice. I feel hyped.
UK, the game is showing 60, 69.99. Ooh, cool. Well, thanks you all for hanging out with me. Uh, what game is everyone else excited for? If you want to pick one. Uh, obviously Starfield is probably what everyone has in their mind right now the most. So if you want to still pick it, that's super fine. There is a new Star Wars game they show. Apparently they're also going to do show more, or they're going to show the gameplay at Ubisoft Forward. Uh, but it was called Star Wars Outlaws was at the very beginning. Uh, one of them. Uh, I heard or saw a little bit Cable was playing Liza P. It did not look the most appetizing uh, of combat. It looked a little clunky, but it looked like an interesting world. Other than the clowns or fuse. Uh, so that was a lot of fun. Thanks for everybody for handing out. Uh, I really want to see more Fable. I really enjoyed the comedy that was in it. I'll probably check out the new Sea of Thieves DLC, especially if it's instance. Uh, give Blizzard a break. It takes a lot of time and effort to sexually abuse female employees. Thanks, Blizzard. This is just rude. Only a little under 10 years, but Xops finally came back to the table for you. <gasps> Are you going to try to find a uh, Series X then? Or also known as sex, because it's fun if you just call it a sex. Okay. Honey, I want to get a sex. <laughs> That's perfect. Well, good luck, everybody. If you want to try to get those pre-orders for Starfield Direct, um, I look forward to seeing all this, and I'm glad that I have Game Pass. It continues to be an awesome deal, and uh, super happy with it. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. I'm going to bounce. I'll see you guys later for some Nintendo Sunday. Playing more Tears of the Kingdom in about five hours, about. Just to boot. If you're coming back on then later, that would be cool. But if not, uh, probably see you later. Uh, there is new DLC for it. It's a uh, Monkey Island uh, DLC. Yeah. It's the rolling. The rolling is so bad. No. It's so sad. Uh, I'm, I'm pumped. I liked it a lot. Do I have anybody? Uh, yeah, let's go raid. Uh, my lovely friend. Uh, Gingerbeard. Is currently, uh, playing some V Rising. Uh, which is neat. Go say hello if you want to go join. Uh, otherwise, uh, see you guys later. And thank you again very much. I appreciate you. I look forward to all the games we'll be playing on stream eventually. Uh, maybe some, uh, fun bingey games. Binge. Bye. Bye, everybody. The spider queen. She has the silk recipe. Oh, shit. She, I guess she's in the forest then?